The United Nations World Food Program is poised to begin airlifting desperately needed food aid to people trying to survive in drought and famine-stricken East Africa on Wednesday. United Nations officials say the first flight on Wednesday are heading to Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. Additional planes are expected to carry food to eastern Ethiopia and northern Kenya near the Somali border. The UN says it is calling in resources and personnel from other parts of the world to respond to the crisis. For some citizens, help cannot come soon enough. We've been displaced by drought, the like of which has never been witnessed in more than half a century. We have sick children here in the camp, and we haven't received any help so far. We need urgent help. United Nations and U.S. officials say more than 11 million people are in dire need of emergency aid to survive. In Somalia alone, the U.N. says about one-third of the population is facing starvation. Another displaced resident says the situation is extremely urgent. I fled from drought and I do not have anything to eat because my children are sleeping on the ground for hunger and disease. We only get one meal from the feeding center near our camp. It is not enough for our children and us. World Food Program truck drivers in Kenya say poor roads are likely to slow the delivery of relief supplies across the Horn of Africa. The road is a problem, but from our point of view, the loading, the unloading, the distance, that's all fine for me. The biggest problem is these roads. Now, the UN is also holding a donors conference in Nairobi today with the goal of raising up to $1.6 billion to combat the famine over the next 12 months.